Hello, welcome to Ataru. In today's video, we are going to be exploring two different types of flowers. One is a cosmos flower, another one is a bell flower. So let's get started. I'm Nilofa, a watercolor artist, and welcome to our studio. Materials we'll be using either of the round brushes. You can use a four number round brush or an eight number round brush, whichever size is easy for you to use. I'll be using a four number round brush for this class. A tissue towel, you can use a tissue paper or a rag cloth, a jar of water, mixing tray, so that you can mix some colors or input some colors, whichever colors, whatever you like, and some watercolor paints. So I have a big box like this, put up into this box. All my paint is put into this, and I use this for my cup and some spray bottle. So I like to use the spray bottle to wet my paint which makes the whole process very easier to remove an excess paint. I also like to sprinkle some water on the paper when I begin so that it's easier. The paper is moist and it becomes easier for us to work on it easy. Right for the colors I'll be using a very light magenta pink shade like a rose matter shade. For cosmos now i'll be removing the color here in my palette you see i use a ceramic bowl so that the color does can be easily wiped off now because it's cosmos flower and it's very very uh, light so you have to make sure that you are diluting the color as much as you can now cosmos flower has eight petals for eight petals you can make eight different lines one two Three, four, five, six, seven, and one here. You can put one here in between of these. Okay, so this can be a very raw, different basic lines, and then you can start working around it. Make a U shape like how we've done in the previous class in the previous video tutorial. If you haven't checked it out, you can check it out in on our channel. And I've also linked it in this video below, top right corner, so you can check out the old video tutorial, which has a lot of de details on how to do these basic strokes. Now I'm going to take in some dark color. Now this is the very lightest color, right? I'm going to add in the dark tone, just fill in in between spaces. When you fill in this between space, it creates a nice, lovely dark texture we go back in one two three now i'm going to make the fourth petal here now, all the petals are almost connected to each other it's five you can add a little bit of curve in the stroke This way, when you add a little curve into the stroke, it creates a bit of flawness, like it's falling. So I'm taking in the darkest tone. So in the consistency space, I am taking in almost like a dry consistency and adding in the middle of the petals. You'll notice how these little dark consistency adds a really nice touch for the creating depth between the petals. And then you can add in some little bit of dots around the petal before adding a yellow center. So now for the yellow center, you can use a Gamphog hue or uh, Indian yellow. This. You can create, add in a little bit of Gamphog hue. If a little bit of red bleeds into the yellow, it is fine because that lovely bleed will give you a lovely uh, texture, will build in a lovely texture for your center. Okay. And as it is while it's still drying, what we would do is we would take in some gray tone, take in this kind of a gray, gray color. It can be a paint gray, it can be a natural tint, or any kind of gray tint. 
but a very light again dilute the gradient you can add in the little detail like little dots in the center so that will create a saturation in the yellows and give you this lovely little touch of depth and create a little depth into your painting we're almost done with our cosmos what we're going to do is we're going to add a green and a bit of one bud we can add in so just like not to leave this little flower alone we're going to add in a little bud go in with a damp brush and remove this bit of color finally while still drying i'm going to take in some more color i'm going to add in the color here so that can be a very little thin base color not too dark not too th light just a base of colors Even on the sides where there's the darker tint, you can add in a little bit of color. You can enhance the basically enhance the whole area. I'm going to go back in with the gray after it has dried and leave in some two or three dots. Don't forget to add some little of leaves to your flower. that's it for your cosmos flower for the next flower we're going to be making a bell flower for bell flower i will be using a blue shade it's like a tallow blue or a cerulean blue for your bell flowers again i like to spray in some water so that the color comes out easily okay repeat something and get a little blue flower color you can see it's a i'm using a tallow with the tallow blue you can use a cerulean blue or a, i think a cobalt blue will also be okay okay now if you want a nice a little bit of wet area wet zone you can obviously uh, spray in some water so that it goes in clearly now let's get started for this the strokes would be like this i'm going to do a stroke over here first i'm going to be making a a turned stroke so you start with the side and then you come down making like an m shape okay let's do it here i'm again use a very lighter shade first and then then start do adding the darker tint for creating shadows and stuff let's start I'm going to be making the bell flowers in different directions too. You make one, two, and three. You make like three, and then the, the middle one you can curve it inwards like this, like a U shape. Now, this is the one shade. I'm going to do one in, on the left side. I'm going to go one, two, and three same thing when you do the inside the center one then you can always curve it so that it looks a little bit more curved out inside inwards now what i'm going to do on the top i'm going to take it u-shape again and then again leave it one here now the top one can be a little bit open spaced okay now Let's add the darker tint on this. It's quite easy one, but we really need fun doing so. Now I'm going to have taken a cream consistency. Now, if you look at the, my palette, it's really, really dark and it's cream consistency. I'm going to show it over here. It's very dark as compared to the first one over here. And I'm going to add in from here. Remember, if you have water, you just remove that excess water. The brush should be totally dampened so then you will be able to get in this nice dark areas like this 
this added link here this creates now if at all your painting dries in then you will not be able to get this nice soft texture so for that purpose you can just make something like that happens then you can just make the uh, the stroke and then take a damp brush not a very wet brush and blend it out when you blend this out you get this nice really soft a little softer technique it's not idle to the what we would get here like a soft strokes but it will be decent and you will be able to work it will look decent and workable so i would rather advise to always add in the darker stroke as soon as you add you make your bell flower so that it is fresh and you can add in the soft stroke easily now just join in your bell flowers creating nice long strokes of of leaves with adding in a small stroke of leaf near the bell flowers. These flowers will look really beautiful when you put them on a greeting card or you just paint a lovely flower on the top of the card and write some message and give it to your loved ones. It will be a beautiful or you can also create some kind of wall hanging or a painting for your living room areas. So, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and had fun painting the cosmos and the bellflower. These are very easy to paint and really fun to paint too. So, do try them and if you try them, you can share it with us on our Instagram. You can also email your work. The email is all listed down below. And we will look forward to your work, you know. And please like, subscribe and share with your friends and your family. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.